RS4 fuel pressure valve. Guidance on how to fit without removing intake manifold. So basically, if you want to fit one of these little puppies, which is usually needed for if you go in stage two plus on a TFSI engine, um, or whatever reason you want to fit one, short fuel pressure. Uh, there is a knack to fitting one with the manifold still in place if you don't want to remove all of that. Uh, just thought I'd share it with you while we're pissing about. Basically, you want fuel pump off, uh, diverter valve off, first of all. So, piece of e pipe, fuel pump, uh, 17 mil here, which is the feed to the fuel rail. You get the little rubber pipe off at either end of the fuel pump or this pipe. Fuel pump out of the way, get this loosely out of the way, the back pipe. Move this roughly out of the way. Uh, divert valves off, giving you some access around here. Loosen these T30s. You'll need quite a shallow one to get to that one or take the PCV valve off. So this these are nice and loose. There's two 10 mils that go upwards here that then basically take your diverter valve bracket off. And then after that, you will need a four mil socket to remove these little ends, which basically they sit there like that. So get those two off and out of the way, then this bracket's loose. So then those high pressure pipes are then movable next thing you need to do and the two parts you need two tools you need should I say not parts parts we've talked about that the valve two parts you need that's a spider down there or something anyway two parts you need are lost them 14 mil crow foot spanner. So that's designed so that a extension bar can go in there. That goes on the end of this. Wait a minute. That goes on there. Like that. And that is to undo the other end of the pipe. So let's get torch on job. Under there, basically, when the pipe's bolted up, this spinny bit, this slides in there. Hang on. That slides down onto there like that and undoes it. So effectively, if you imagine that was at the other end, you slide in that on, that's a 17 so it won't go on. Little crack, and then you can spin it off with your fingers and pull this pipe, which is the feed and also where it cracks off to the fuel pressure it doesn't need. Move it out of the way. That then gives you access into there. Then what you need is a 17 mil version of that, which is here, but it needs to be open-ended because there's not much room to get a closed end on. So it slides in from the side. Same principle on a 3 8 extension. Just a little nip, a little crack off with your 3 8 ratchet. They're not tight, and then you can spin it out with your fingers and put it all back the same way you've took it off. I've not got an open-ended one of those, so I've actually ground the ends off so it's not closed anymore. So it doesn't look like that. You won't get that one on. Put it all back in reverse process. These don't need to be that tight, just a little nip on them. Don't want to over tighten them. Same for these high pressure bolts. They do not need to be mega tight. Cheers for watching. Might bring another video at some point soon. Bye for now.